and and we don't and we don't always like who we work with but we have to we have to learn to do that so those are the things that we really work on here in the United States are the four C's. You, you know, um, it's very important, very important that those four things go together. Yes. Any other questions? Go ahead and ask a question. So the Please ask questions to them, ma'am. Please ask questions to them, these girls. Yeah. Uh, pardon? I didn't understand you. Katishu, please, please ask some questions to these girls. Katishu, oh, you want me to ask them some questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, gosh, I, I, you know, do you enjoy school? Yes, actually, we are missing school because of this uh, COVID pandemic. But yeah, we do enjoy a lot in, in schools. And what yeah. are, what are you studying? What's your main what's your main focus? Uh, my main aim is to become an engineer. Oh, um, do you want to be mechanical engineer or aer aerospace engineer or computer science engineer? Which type of what area are you looking at? <laughs> Computer engineer. A computer engineer. My yes. my grand my grandson is going to be an aerospace engineer. Oh. Uh, Ma'am, uh, recently uh, a girl from our village, uh, Sirisha Bandla, is going to space in the next uh, on the eleventh July. At NASA. Oh, okay. Oh, from NASA and she is from our uh, district, uh, at the, from our school area. She is also hailing from our school area and now she is living in United States and going to space through Virgin Atlantic. She is, so, name is, her name is Sirisha Bandla. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, so does she live in Huntsville, Alabama? Mm -hmm. Uh, probably so. Probably. So that's where NASA is. Yeah. 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 Um, well, that's pretty interesting. Our schools are very interesting, actually. Yeah, our schools are? are interesting. They, uh, they also focus on co-curricular activities such as singing, dancing, and we are uh, so uh, sportively participating and uh, winning over prizes and we are enthusiastic in our schools okay. more than in our house as compared to our house. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the United States, uh, um, they, they are, they, they focus a lot on, you know, English and, and, um, mathematics that those are very important and those yeah. are the two main places and science so those are the three key areas but then they also encourage students to to be involved in sports to be involved in arts and music and and um and i keep going back to my grandson he plays soccer he swims and he says he he swims on the uh, swim team right. and he also plays the cello. He's been playing the cello since he was seven years old. Oh, great. So yeah. apart from the sports, our schools practicing as yoga. That is called the Vedic types of exercise that gives you the health situation. And my girl will explain you about the yoga. Yeah, go go ahead. Yeah, you explain. Uh, actually, it's a, it's about the uh, maintenance of mental health, mental as well as physical health. Actually, uh, it's 
uh, about exercises it's about asanas you can do uh, they are pretty simple sometimes and they are pretty hard to do uh, it's about uh, surya namaskaras uh, uh, or pranayams we, uh, we always meditate in yoga and the uh, om word is always used in yoga which is very uh, which is meant to be very spiritual in and uh, spir spiritual and uh, breathing exercises and uh, and so many things are there in yoga to maintain our mental and physical health as well that's so uh, enriching for mm -hmm. our body um we have uh, yogic competitions also uh, um, oh. under 19 or under 17 we always practice we always do yoga at our school i never heard of a uh, yoga competitions that's interesting i'll have to share that yeah <laughs> <laughs> we always go to tournaments about these uh, yoga like uh, or badminton or swimming we we always do uh, we always do participate in such uh, co curricular activities that's nice that's good to hear i swim every day so that's that's how i do my mental health i i you know and i also i also have a trainer that works with me um and and helps me do the exercises that i need to do for for my age and for for the disability that i have i would just thank you it was my pleasure to meet you is my pleasure to meet you too in fact i i i'm honored to meet you all actually mhm mm thank you ma'am thank you ma'am for your interaction thank you thank you for sharing your daughters with me hello ma'am hello i am neeraj i am neeraj i am studying in grade my hobbies are playing games and so it seems uh, that uh, the network network is uh, probably having she is having some problem with the network uh, in this uh, village so actually the data or whatever the data my future ambition needed for the and already consumed because we have okay, been here for next. the last yeah so do you have any question neeraj i seems that uh, we have last connection with you and lohita it's your turn can you ask any question from your side okay sir so well, maybe yeah. um, which school is popular in your country public or private um i taught public um but there is private there's actually three different three different um types of education here um you can do private you can do public or there's another one that is called charter um and charter schools have to follow um they have to follow a portion of what public schools do but then they have the ability to do some other things too. So the the charter schools are usually um set up for those students who have difficulty um learning in a in a more open environment, you know, um a public school system around a lot of people. And so um the charter school is set up to help them be successful in what they need to do um also called an alternative school so um so they do uh things a little bit differently in in those schools so uh, how jagadish try to interact with me jagadish yes sir yes sir hi ma'am Hi, how are you? I'm fine. 
My name is Gautam Jagdish. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My future ambition is to become an army person. So, so you like to what watch TV? What is your TV? teaching philosophy, ma'am? Pardon? Yes, ma'am. What did you what say? What is your teaching oh. philosophy, ma'am? Oh, what is my teaching philosophy? What? Um, my teaching yeah. philosophy is is that every every student has voice and choice and that every student is unique and so their learning styles are unique and so it's my job to help you discover um, those things about you that are going to help you be successful and happy in your education great great philosophy so how should you keep your time actually um lived in Paris, France, and I lived in the Belgium Congo when I was, and Sao Paulo, Brazil, when I was younger. Okay. So do you have any My plans dad, to visit you? Do you plans plans to, visit? to visit? Um, no, actually, I, I, I haven't made any plans. The only plans that we've kind of made are um my son would like to go to ireland and so we're we're looking at doing a trip to ireland maybe we're not sure yet but it'll be a couple years because we want to make sure things are um to where we can go without having any scares so kaushik it's your turn again go ahead and ask the question Hello, ma'am. My name is Kojit. My husband is in my chair and watching TV. My future ambition is to become a police officer. How many students are there in your school, ma'am? Um, I, I, I could. Atisho, he, he is thinking that he was still teaching at your school and he actually doesn't know that you are retired uh, or So maybe. Uh, you have to understand that the, how many students uh, used to be there in your school uh, when you uh, last worked there. How many students? I, I'm not quite. Yeah. I'm not quite understanding. Yeah, yeah you're so, breaking so, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sure, uh, his question is: uh, How many students were there when you last worked there? Maybe before the retirement. Oh, before retirement, what I did? Yeah. Before retirement, how many uh, students used to be in your school? Used to be my school before I retired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I was I was at a um, a combination middle school high school, so I taught mm -hmm. ages um, or I taught grades. Seventh grade through through twelfth grade. So, how many students were there at the time? How many students were there at the time? Oh, how many students did I have in a class at a time? Usually thirty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Thirty six okay. per class, and I would teach six classes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have three. Do you have any questions? We have very little time is left. Where are the three? Yes, sir. You haven't been involved. Hello, ma'am. My name is Rajasri. I'm studying. I'm studying in tenth grade. You're in tenth grade. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to be a teacher, ma'am? Why did I want to be a teacher? Um. Well, I actually come from a family of teachers. My uh, great grandfather was 
was a, a teacher here in Bedford. As a matter of fact, he was the, the first uh, principal at one of the um, elementary schools that we had. And then my grandfather was a teacher. And right now there are 26, there's 26 um, cousins, there's 26 of us. And of the 26, 20 of us are teachers. The rest are in the medical profession. So family of teachers, that's the issue. Family of teachers. So that's the reason why I wanted to be a teacher is because oh. I just, it just comes to me naturally. Um, my family is, is, is part of our makeup. Yeah. So inspirational. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so Thank you. Yeah, let me check. Let me check. Nagalakshmi, do you have any question? Very little time is left. Our guest teacher is waiting for you. Hello, ma'am. Nagalakshmi. Hello, ma'am. Hello. My name is Nagalakshmi. I have completed seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. My future ambition is to become an English teacher. Can I ask one question, ma'am? Yes, you may. What language? What languages are spoken in your country? <laughs> All of them. Uh, it depends on what part of the United States that you are in, but um, we are. Um, I don't know if you've ever studied any of the American history, but um, uh, in New York City, um, Ellis Island, we are the melting pot, what they call the melting pot. And there are so many different languages. Um, in the state of Oregon alone, um, there's Russian, Vietnamese, Cantonese, uh, Mandarin, uh, French, German, uh, Spanish. Uh, I mean, we have we have a lot of of languages that that are taught and spoken. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Katishu, uh, we have almost to come to an end of the session. So, before we conclude this session, could you please give your final message to my students? Um, my final message is that I. I'm grateful that I always have the opportunity to come in and talk with all of you. This is, this is a great way to work on your communication and your collaboration of the four C's that I talked about. And um, I look forward to many more visits with you and, and letting you practice um, your, your English with me. I don't always understand you, um, but I am learning just like you are. And whenever there's a problem, you can always put a question in the chat and I can answer it that way. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Tadish, for sparing your valuable time that to morning day. Uh, so we definitely utilize the opportunity. We try to collaborate with you and we try to have many more sessions like this just for the betterment of my students and my school. And uh, so thank you once again, Tana Krishna Garu, for sparing your valuable time and for sharing uh, very many valuable insights about our uh, uh, sessions and our, the progress of our school uh, communicative skills. So we look forward to your assistance, your collaboration, maybe your suggestions and more valuable uh, uh, contribution. So uh, with that note, uh, sure, we sure. come to the session, sir. And uh, Tadishu, once again, and uh, so thank you so much for sparing your valuable time. And students, thank you so much for, for patiently Namaste. Uh, the session for uh, such a long time. So, so thank you. And here is our uh, traditional uh, Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Namaste. Yeah, students, and try to wish ma'am with our traditional, yeah, with our traditional like this. Namaste. Namaste. So bye. Bye. bye.